At the same time, in accord with the previous plan, an Earth-based Soviet observatory scanned the same areas visually to help derive a model consistent with both sets of observations. During the trip home, the X-ray spectrometer would observe seven X-ray sources and gather 50 hours of galactic data. Then, on August 7th, they looked into the fireball created by the heat of their re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. And there would be a heart-stopping moment as one of the three parachutes collapsed. However, the landing system was designed to use two parachutes. The third parachute was an added safety factor. Today, that margin paid off. The success of Apollo 15 had been spectacular. The scientific results had been almost unbelievable. In the words of one scientist, a five for one mission. Yet while we rejoice in our success, we cannot afford to forget the sometimes painful efforts that gave us these achievements. Spacecraft Commander Dave Scott. I think many people have contributed to this pinnacle we've reached. Some have contributed more than others. And we know of 14 individuals who contributed all they had. And because of that, why well, we left a, a small memorial on the moon, about 20 feet north of Rover 1, in a small, subtle crater, there's a simple plaque with 14 names. And those are the names in alphabetical order of all the astronauts and cosmonauts who have died in the pursuit of exploration of space. Near it is a small figure representing a fallen astronaut. We went to the moon as trained observers in order to gather data, uh, not only with our instruments on board, but with our minds. And I'd like to quote a statement from Plutarch, which I think expresses our feelings uh, since we've come back. The mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be lighted. Thank you. In 1993, scientists and engineers from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center and ISAS in Japan joined forces. Together, they created an advanced X-ray astronomy spacecraft capable of detecting X-rays from some of the most exotic objects in the universe. This powerful research vehicle called Astro-E took seven years to build. Seven long